Hey there. So I'm doing something a little different today. I managed to get myself a set of these Lazarus Iron 7 to pitching wedge for a dirty booth I'm going to be hosting this summer where uh, I'm going to introduce people to golf, give them a chance to actually win these irons. I'll play a round from the front tees and I'm going to see what I can shoot using just a 7 to pitching wedge and a putter. All right, here we are, first tee. It's going to be oh. a 315 yard par 5, so shouldn't be too, too hard. I'm sure I'll make it difficult, but 199 yards to the green. So I get to bust out the seven iron again. There we go, that's better. Chipping has been my biggest problem this year. Maybe the secret was to use a cheap pitching wedge. Nope. Oh. So another par oh. five here. Normally it's a long one. Right now it's just under 400 from here, from the front. That's two horrible shots off the tee with the seven iron. All right, so I got 146 yards left in. So I think I'm going to give the, I'm gonna go nine iron here. Pin high, just on the fringe, gonna putt this. That's just a little short of pin high. Oh, I am crushing the putter today. All right, let's save this par. Oh, 250 yard. Par four. Rough start to the first couple here, but hopefully we can make up some ground. I totally hit the groundskeeper in the foot. I feel like shit. Right at 100. Let's give you a pitching wedge. I think I got the distance about right. But I'm just a little bit off to the side. See if I can trip this guy up here and get it close and maybe save par. This is a tough green, so. Oh, there we go, that's a good chip. I don't think it's gonna move too much. It's uphill a bit. Oh, pushed it a little bit. Another bogey. So I'm missing a ton of clubs, but I have not felt like I've been missing any playing from the front tees here. This one here is about 260 yards. Like that's just a beautifully struck seven iron, right where I want it. These irons are great. Nice three quarter pitching wedge. Just like that, we got a birdie putt. Distance was spot on. 12 feet to the right. Oh, gave it too much. All right, we got a par, we got a par. 120 yard, par three, uphill, crazy green that drops off on all sides. I'm gonna take a nine iron in here and stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I'm just gonna go right at her. And hope I can get the, di the distance right. My pace has been off today. Oh! Move just a bit at the end. Back on the bogey train. All right, par four. Only about 250 yards from these front tees. There we go. That'll work. That'll leave me right around that 100 yard mark again. So I got 97 yards. That'll be another three quarter pitching wedge here. Well, that's a little low, but hopefully it'll scramble up there. I mean, I didn't give myself a good putt here, a good look at birdie, but technically it's a green and regulation and a birdie putt. It is putt. breaking, breaking, breaking. Uh, didn't quite get her there. 130 yard, par three. It's gonna be a full nine, I think. Oh, sculled it, but she's gonna roll up there. Keep rolling, keep rolling. I think I'm gonna use the old Texas wedge on this one. Boom, par. We're on the eighth here, 240 yard par four. Um, you'll never guess what I'm taking off the tee. Seven iron, low stingy, got 100 yards in. Ball's about a foot and a half below my feet. Uh, she went a bit too straight, that one. Now I've left myself a chip onto the smallest green they have here. I think my hope from here is just a little pitch on. A 
Let it roll out a bit. No. Uh, tough enough par putt here. Uh, I didn't give it enough. I'll take it. Little pitch shot up here onto a really tough green. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Come back, come back. Might come back with this green. This gonna be a really tough spot. Leave myself a tough putt here. You can see this green is very slopey. I mean, I went almost uh, to the back fringe and ended up on the front. Since my putt here is gonna be six, seven feet of break. There we go. So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I tell myself that everything will end up alright